In a community pharmacy setting, sometimes it's not clear who exactly is involved with getting your medications ready. Though the exact terminology and responsibilities may vary depending on your state and location, here are the four main staff roles inside the community pharmacy. A pharmacy clerk is a staff member who may not necessarily be licensed by a board of pharmacy. Although they are not normally involved in preparing the medications themselves, they can still complete transactions, perform miscellaneous tasks such as taking phone calls, and sometimes set borders in. A pharmacy technician is a staff member who is licensed after completing requirements with the board of pharmacy, such as going through a training program or completing a competency examination. Because of their training, they are able to type, fill, and prepare medications. They may also perform the same responsibilities of a clerk. A pharmacist is a licensed healthcare professional who has completed a pharmacy school education equivalent to a doctorate. Because of this, they can perform a clinical review to ensure that the correct medication with correct quantity and directions are delivered to the correct patient without errors from either within the pharmacy or from the prescription itself. In addition, they share a corresponding responsibility with the prescriber to ensure that the appropriate therapy is provided for a patient even if the prescription is dispensed as written. This is especially important if there is a mistake with a medication written, an error in quantity, or a drug interaction with another medication. Prior to becoming a pharmacist, a pharmacy student may be working as an intern pharmacist to gain additional experience. Provided that they are being supervised by a precepting pharmacist, they are able to perform many of their equivalent responsibilities as a full-fledged pharmacist. Without a preceptor, however, they are limited to non-discretionary tasks. For all clinical advice and consultations, these will be performed by either the pharmacist or supervised intern pharmacist due to an educational understanding of medication therapeutics or pharmacology. In some states, pharmacists can also initiate their own independent clinical services. For example, in California, pharmacists can independently immunize patients based on any recommendations provided by the CDC. Under protocol and appropriate continued education, pharmacists can also furnish birth control, travel medicine, or also naloxone for opioid overdoses. But how can you tell who is who? In most states, there will be a requirement for staff members to wear name tags indicating their name and also licensure if applicable. 